will begin with reviewing and testing fleet functionality necessary for future missions. Mission goals are expressed as objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. Practice rotating your view. Rotate your view to get a better angle of the mission area. Center the view on the mothership. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. And now, rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Next is moving your view. Attempt this now. your view to closely view the nearby asteroid bay. Finally, adjust the height of your view to gain or reduce elevation in the mission area. Attempt to gain a close view of the allied carrier above now. The Zoom command can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Try this now. At any time, the mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. Attention. The sensors manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire mission area all at once. Good. The direction of critical positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensors gyro. The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. The second marker points towards objectives and related points of interest. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction of any combat events currently underway. The sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensors range. Their effective sighting radius has a sphere around them. Units outside this range are usually undetectable, but these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out, 
or building units that specialize in high sensor range can provide crucial information on enemy positions. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. At any time, a tactical pause can be issued. Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Initiate and then cancel a tactical pause now. This is command. Note that while paused, units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot be completed. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% using the dedicated command. Try this now. operations, we will focus on the mothership. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a focused view. Try this now. Channel open, stand by. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around the mothership with it in focus. Your view can also be zoomed in and out from the subject. Try this now. Now for commands. All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. Start by selecting the resource controller. Send your message. Not all ships are combat vessels, but each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slow but well-armored shipyard capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. With the resource controller selected, begin a resource operation. Heading there now. These RUs will be used in further ship production and research. Resource controllers are unarmed and should be protected. While very vulnerable, they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Open the build and research command interface to begin unit production. In some instances, technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. Research in order to produce a small contingent of ships for the fleet. Mothership. Control, Collector 23 is having a hard time with plasma burners. We've reset and there is no change. Please advise. Continue operations. If it becomes critical, report back. Research. Now that the technology is available, the fleet can be reinforced. Motherships and carriers specialize in unit production. Larger or more powerful ships take longer to build, as well as more resources. If the fleet runs out of resources, production will stall during its creation. Recon production complete.
contingent of recon strike craft. Strike craft can be constructed through the build and research interface. Military units can be selected for orders like non military ones, but all military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point to scout beyond our position. Our units can take advantage of terrain as a shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and cover usage. Trigger back there. 
We're on defensive. Allied ships okay. inbound. Understood. Lock is good. Systems failing. of the Allied Interceptor strike craft to you now. Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. Dock with the carrier now. Ready to copy. Moving into SO. You got us lead? Parker shot copies. Link set. Come about to position. Two. Receiving. from the carrier now. Research complete. Go. And so While carriers can't build capital ships, they are more mobile than the mothership and can quickly reposition themselves across a battlefield. Understood. Interceptor production complete. Bolstering unit numbers is only one way to reinforce the fleet. New abilities for units can also be researched, which will give units extra utility or an edge in battle. Begin researching the ability upgrade for interceptors. One sec. I'm ready to copy. Send. 
Let's get him loose. Stand by. I'm seeing some pushback on the stick. Setting aboard the Upgrade stick. Was researched. The technology is made available for all units it applies to. Most units will not use their abilities automatically and must receive direct orders. With good timing, this can turn the tide of an operation. Test the newly researched ability now. Good. The ability will be active for a short period of time before going on cooldown. Using unit abilities frequently will give you an advantage in battle. The next location will allow units to take advantage of the tunnel to navigate, shielding them in the event of oncoming fire. Direct the contingent to the target position. Interceptor reads. Coming around. Setting you as primary. Copy to last. ships to the designated area above to gain cover and a vantage point. Flight is unstationed. We're ready. Understood. Moving now. Sweeps to full. Fleet net stable. Hostiles are intercepting a friendly carrier. Must provide aid. Attack the enemies now. We're inbound. Forget logged in. Check screen for subsurface power relays.
orders, such as movement directives, can be queued. Ships will carry out these orders in sequence, though orders such as attacking or using special abilities will prevent further orders from queuing. Queue several orders now. Send message. several movement orders from one unit, or a group of them. Finally, friendly ships can be assigned to a group for quick reference in and across the battlefield. Assign one or more ships to a control group. Receiving. Group 1 designated. Once assigned, a control group can be quickly found across the battlefield and can be useful while attempting to manage several different battles at once. A ship can even belong to several control groups for very fine control over the fleet. Some ships are capable of laying mines, providing support via area denial. Lay mines using any pattern. proximity mines. It takes time to lay mines. If a ship laying mines is interrupted at any point, any existing mines will be active, but the shape may not have full coverage. Ensure mine laying ships have enough time to allow for full pattern coverage. In some situations, persistent area denial or defense of a certain position is crucial for victory. Deploy a turret. Navigation, set for mine dispersal. type of turret to a nearby solid surface. Turrets can be redeployed without first undeploying them if desired. Simply issue a deploy order to a new location. Multiple turrets can also be deployed in rapid succession allowing groups of turrets to quickly secure one or more locations. Multiple turret types exist. Select the one best suited to the situation and goals of the mission. Congratulations. We've now reviewed all techniques required for effective fleet management.